हेलो एवरी वन दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बिन आस्ट इन गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दिस क्वेश्चन बिलोंग्स टू पावर सिस्टम प्रोटेक्शन एंड इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हैज बिन आस्ट बेस्ड ऑन द डायरेक्शन ओवर करेंट रिले द क्वेश्चन इज दैट द फॉर द थ्री बस पावर सिस्टम सोन इन द फिगर द ट्रिप सिग्नल्स टू द सर्किट ब्रेकर्स बी वन टू बी नाइन आर प्रोवाइडेड बाई ओवर करेंट रिलेज आर वन टू आर नाइन रिस्पेक्टिवली सम ऑफ बीच हैव डायरेक्शनल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑल्सो द नेसरी कंडीशन फॉर द सिस्टम टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड फॉर शॉर्ट सर्किट फॉल्ट एट एनी पार्ट ऑफ द सिस्टम बिटवीन बस वन एंड द आर एल लोड्स विथ आइसोलेशन ऑफ मिनिमम पोर्सन ऑफ द नेटवर्क यूजिंग मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ डायरेक्शनल रिले इज एंड द फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवेन एंड दिस इज सिंगल चॉइस मीन्स यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट ओनली वन आंसर सो वी आर हैविंग फोर ऑप्शन गिवेन एंड द फिगर बिलोंग्स टू दिस प्रॉब्लम इज गिवेन इन दैट इन दिस साइड so if we denote the directional and non directional relays over the circuit we can see that only r3 and r4 will be directional over current relays and other ones are non directional over current relays first we we understand the why this directional relays be need directional relays be required to just add selectivity selectivity for relay operation such that we can maintain the power continuity in the rest of the lines so by adding over uh, directional over current relay we are we are giving the selectivity to, for relay operation such that uh, the, which is essential for to maintain power continuity we can understand from the simple example that suppose fault occurs at line 1 then the circuit breaker 3 will face the opposite current uh, opposite uh, current will just see the opposite current so correspondingly the relay 3 will operate and while the uh, and, uh, and this relay for will not operate so other so the um, so the so the power in the rest of the line will remain as it is and this line one will isolated on the other hand if b if there is fault uh, in this line two then this r4 will trip and this r3 will not trip and this uh, just maintain the power continuity in the rest of the lines and the rest of the system just remain intact now if we, uh, now i have noted down three important points to choose the directional relay and non directional relay in the circuit so the first point is that directional relay will be given at the receiving end of parallel feeders Directional relay will be given at the receiving end of parallel feeders. So we are having this parallel feeders line one and line two. So directional relay will be given at the receiving end. So R three and R four will be the directional relays. And the second point is that at the source end, all are non-directional over current relays. So we are having this generator, and the relays just. just beside this generator side source side all are non directional over current relays therefore r1 r2 and r9 will be non directional over current relays and the last point third point is that radial feeders always had non directional over current relays and this have not uh, and uh, one point you can also add the add the um, add here is that there should be not any active sources so this one is radial feeder line 3 so corresponding to all this uh, corresponding to line 3 already all the relays having non directional over current relays so r5 r7 and r8 will be non directional over current relays and this uh, r6 will also non directional over current relay because this is passive load it uh, it cannot reverse the current therefore we can choose our answer according to this uh, notation So the first option is that R3 and R4 are directional over current relays blocking fault towards bus 2 this this is also correct this will be also correct if it is multiple choice question if we have to select multiple answer for this question but uh, let us see the other options also b option is R3 and R4 are directional over current relays blocking fault towards bus 2 and R7 is directional over current relay blocking fault towards bus 3 so R7 Uh, will be non directional over current relay so this will be incorrect b option will be incorrect c option is that r3 and r4 are directional over current relays blocking faults towards line 1 and line 
R7 is directional over current delay. So this is also incorrect. Last option is that R3 and R4 are directional over current delays, blocking falls towards line 1 and line 2 respectively. So this is more specific and clear. So D option will be correct for this problem. Thank you everyone.